Hi Cabrain Box, welcome to this new episode where we will tackle number problems. Before we continue, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you posted for more review topics. You can also avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. For this video, we'll be talking about number problems. Recall that in doing word problems, we have the three R's and the ESP technique. The first R is when we read the whole problem thoroughly. The second R is we represent our unknown through a variable. The last R is relating the variables to each other and the given values from what we have read from the problem. On the other hand, E is for putting these variables into an equation using the facts from the problem. Then we now solve this equation. Lastly, we prove and check if our answers match everything described in the problem. Now that we have recalled this 3 R's especially technique, we move on to discussing the number problems. In these problems, the relationships among the numbers directly described in the problem. Let's take this problem for example. A number is 3 less than another number. The sum of these two numbers is 17. What are the numbers? From this problem we can say two things. First, here are two numbers whose sum is 17, and second, the difference between them is 3. We now represent these numbers with variables according to the problem. We assume that x is the larger number. Since the difference between the number is 3, then the lesser number would be x minus 3. From what we have read, the sum of these two numbers is 17. From this we can say that the first number plus the second number is equal to 17. We now substitute the representations of these two numbers. We get the equation x plus x minus 3 is equal to 17. We now move on to solving this equation. From here, we get the value of x equals 10. A special caution for this part Cabrain box. The value of x in the equation is not always the final answer to the question in the problem. Here, the next step would be to substitute the value of x that we obtained to the representation we had in order to get the final answer. The first number, which we represented as x is 10 which is also our larger number. Since our second or lesser number is x minus 3 then its value is 7. The last part, we prove that the values we obtained satisfy the conditions we have read from the problem. The sum of 10 and 7 is 17 and the difference is 3. This proves that the two numbers are 10 and 7. Since we have thoroughly discussed number problems, let us try to expound our knowledge by answering this practice set. You have one minute to answer each item. Good luck! Number 1. Thrice a number decreased by 9 is 57. What is the number? Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 22. From this problem we can say two things. 1. There is just one number. And 2. This number is multiplied to 3 and after subtracting 9, it is 57. We now represent this number with variables according to the problem. Let x be the unknown number. Relate. 
3x minus 9 equals 57. Solve. 3x minus 9 equals 57. 3x equals 57 plus 9. 3x equals 66. 3x divided by 3 equals 66 divided by 3. Hence, x equals 22. Prove. Since 3 times 22 minus 9 equals 57 as stated in the problem, the unknown number is 22. Number 2. One number is 3 less than twice another number. If their sum is 30, what are the two numbers? Timer starts now. Time is up. The two numbers are 11 and 19. From this problem we can say two things. First, one number is 3 less than twice another. And second, the sum of the two number is 30. We now represent these numbers with variables according to the problem. First number, x. Second number, 2 by minus 3. From what we have read, the sum of these two numbers is 30. From this we can say that the first number plus the second number is equal to 30. We now substitute the representations of these two numbers. We get the equation x plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 30. We now move on to solving this equation. From here, we get the value of x equals 11. Since the first number is x equals 11, the second number would be 2x minus 3 equals 2 times 11 minus 3, equals 22 minus 3, equals 19. Prove, since the sum of 11 and 19 is 30 as stated in the problem, the numbers are 11 and 19. Number 3, the sum of three numbers is 60. The second number is 4 more than the first. The third number is twice the first number. Find the second number, Timer starts now. Time is up. The second number is 18. From this problem we can say three things. First, the sum of the three numbers is 60. Second, the second number is 4 more than the first number. And third, the third number is twice the first number. We now represent these numbers with variables according to the problem. First number, x. Second number, x plus 4. Third number, 2x. From what we have read, the sum of these three numbers is 60. From this, 
we can say that the first number plus the second number plus the third number is equal to 60. We now substitute the representations of these three numbers. We get the equation x plus x plus 4 plus 2x equals 60. We now proceed to solving this equation. From here we get x equals 14. Since the first number is x equals 14, the second number would be x plus 4 equals 14 plus 4 equals 18. Also, the third number would be 2x equals 2 times 14 equals 28. Prove the sum of 14, 18 and 28 is 60 as stated in the problem. Since the second number is being asked in this question, the answer is 18. That's a wrap. Share this video for others to learn too. If you want to learn more, you can avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.